So my morning starts at 7 a.m. and this is when I feed the cats. The cats are fed a raw food diet and I have to weigh this out. They currently are on a diet, so they're trying to lose a bit of weight. And they also get a little bit of elm bark powder in their food. Then I go ahead and just sanitize the area because I am working with raw meat. And I go ahead and start making myself some coffee. Then I go into the rabbit's room and I say good morning to them. They are pretty messy, so I do go ahead and sweep up any loose hay or poops that they left from the night before. I also make sure to pull out the hay in their hay box. Then it's time to make some critical care. This is for my rabbit, Lola. She is a bit thinner as she is older, so I do want her to gain more weight. So I've been feeding her critical care every morning and this has been helping quite a bit. Cleo, of course, loves the critical care as well and will try to steal the syringe out of Lola's mouth. It's fine if she has it, but it's mainly meant to be for Lola. Then the day begins with me playing with the cats. This is always the best part of the day because the cats are just so fun to play with. I also go ahead and wash out and refill the rabbit's water dish.
Then I go ahead and water some of the plants for that day. And uh, I realize that climbing onto stools like this is probably not the safest thing, but I do it. Depending on the day, usually me and the cats will go outside on the balcony and they really enjoy sitting out there. At 7 p.m. I feed the cats their dinner, so I make sure to wash their plates and then I get their food. Around 8 p.m. is when the rabbits get to come out into my living room and this is where they get to play. I also give them treats and sometimes I will put down some different interactive toys for them to kind of stimulate their brains. After that, I go ahead and make them their daily salad. So I have romaine, butter lettuce, cilantro, and some arugula.
I also go ahead and just check inside of the hay box to make sure that there is still a good supply of hay inside and then I'll of course pull out more hay. Then I go ahead and empty, wash, and refill all three of the hamster water dishes. By nine o'clock, usually Waddles is awake, so I get to say hello to him and see how he's doing. I also made the hamsters mini salads for themselves, so Waddles gets to enjoy his. Then I scatter feed his daily seed mix around the enclosure for him to forage for it. And then Miss Mabel is awake and she is ready for a bit of free roaming time. The Syrian hamsters get to free roam in my bathroom. I just block off the toilet area and I have my cupboard full of hamster toys. During this time, I usually will have my iPad where I can watch a show while they get to play for as long as they really want to. Once Mabel goes back, I have this wooden boredom breaker for her that she has figured out very fast how to get the seeds out. By 9.30, Dipper is usually awake, so then it's his turn to come out and free roam.
When the hamsters go back, I give them a little treat. So this is actually a sunflower stalk that I'm giving Dipper, as well as I gave Waddles one. And Mabel gets a small chunk of a sunflower seed head. And then it is finally time for me to go to bed. And that is my daily pet routine.